MW3 is not what you think it is. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to want to watch this entire video because I'm going to explain to you exactly what you're getting with MW3. And a lot of you probably haven't thought about what I'm about to say. Before I go into this, I just wanted to say I am a longtime Call of Duty player. I am a fan of the franchise. I love Call of Duty. I've been playing it since 2009. I played every single game every year of Call of Duty since I was a little kid. So the purpose of this video is not to spread hate. I'm more just trying to explain to people what actually is happening with Modern Warfare 3 and what this game actually is. Because a lot of people are claiming that this is a brand new game that's going to fix everything that MW2 did wrong. And listen, I am not disagreeing with you on that. I had a blast in the beta and I'm so excited for the MW3 launch. But hear me out and let me give you some backstory about why MW3 isn't what you think it is. Early on, it was leaked that MW2 would be the first game to be supported for two years. There was not going to be a Call of Duty released in 2023. So Sledgehammer was going to be given the job to create a premium DLC to support MW2 for two years. But why did this happen? Treyarch was actually supposed to have this launch for 2023. Now, we don't know exactly why that didn't happen, but I can assume and we can all assume that the game wasn't ready. Activision did not feel comfortable releasing the Treyarch title this year. So they decided, OK, we're going to give MW2 two years of support. And then in 2024, Treyarch is going to release their title. It seems pretty clear that Activision did not want to rush the release of the Treyarch game. So they decided that, OK, Treyarch is going to get the 2024 release. And for this year, 2023, we're going to have a two year supported Call of Duty for MW2. Obviously, we got support with Warzone in the past, but they were expecting MW2 to be a dramatic success, regardless of the Treyarch game being delayed. But they were going to support the game for two years. There were plans that there was a premium DLC coming with the original MW2 2009 maps. Um, and just some other returning things to bring that premium experience and help out Call of Duty for the first ever, you know, two year support of a game. But that clearly didn't happen. And they decided that they wanted to release another uh, $70 title for, for this year. So here's what actually happened. They thought MW2 was going to be successful. If not, they thought Warzone 2 was for sure going to be successful. Everybody hated MW2 and the majority of the people who were playing Warzone 1 did not like Warzone 2 and they quickly realized that Warzone 2 was not going to carry the Call of Duty franchise like Warzone 1 and they needed to sell another game in 2023. And I get it, okay? Activision is a company. They need to make money. And I am totally fine with them releasing a new Call of Duty every year for the rest of time. But is this really a new Call of Duty? Or is this the update that was supposed to come for the two year support? And they're just deciding we're going to put a $70 price tag on it because that's what a lot of people are arguing. People are saying this could have been an update. And listen, for the most part, I don't disagree with them. That being said, I think that this game is significantly better than MW2. They basically fixed every single problem that we asked them to fix. But let's be real. Could they have done this in an update? I think they probably could. But they've really been pushing that narrative away and saying, no, this was the plan. It's a standalone title. And, you know, it's the third game in the Modern Warfare series. And that's totally fine. But, you know, for the, for the most part, I don't believe them that this was that this was the plan all the way. I, I just doesn't seem right to me. That being said, if they had a DLC and this was the DLC for MW2, everything that we got in this beta, this was a DLC. All of the 16 MW2 maps coming back, a bunch of new guns, a new Warzone map. I would have paid $70 for that. But a lot of people aren't understanding the business side of this, okay? Activision understood that a lot of people didn't like MW2. So a good business person is not going to say, OK, we're going to sell you this DLC, this $70 DLC. We put a lot of work into remastering, you know, the OG MW2 maps. Here's the DLC. It's going to fix all the problems that we had in MW2, but we're still playing MW2. Way, way, way less people are going to buy that DLC versus buying the next Call of Duty because that is what we've been trained to do for 20 years or however long Call of Duty's been coming out. 
That's what we do. We buy Call of Duty after we're tired of the old one. So what am I saying? Am I complaining about MW3? No, I'm not complaining about MW3. I'm actually really excited that we got the product that we got. But the truth is this was a huge marketing trick to get all the people who said, I'm not paying another cent for Call of Duty. I'm not gonna buy anything on MW2 until they fix these problems. This was a trick to get you to come back, play the same game, but the game that they fixed. It's a fixed version of MW2. And if you don't believe me, just let me let me point out some facts real quick and maybe maybe after I do, you'll start to understand more of what I'm saying. Don't you think it's just a little bit strange that Call of Duty HQ was suspiciously announced right before Modern Warfare 3's reveal? They're gonna have a brand new hub that you launch all of the Call of Duties from. Right now, it's only MW2, but we promise in the future it's gonna be all the Call of Duties. I mean, we just played the MW3 beta. You had to launch MW2 before you could play the MW3 beta. So MW3 is really in the same game as MW2. And you might be saying, okay, well, that's actually a good thing. We only need to go to one place to play our Call of Duty games. Fair, I understand. Now, what about this right here? For the first time ever, this has never happened in Call of Duty. All of your bundles, all your skins, everything you paid for, all your operators, everything. It's all going to come over to MW2, not just Warzone or not MW2. It's all coming to MW3 and it's not only coming to Warzone. You're going to get this for multiplayer too. And they're playing this off like they're finally looking out for your pockets. Now all that money that you spent on the game, it's not gonna go for nothing. But if you really think about it, if they're using the same game files as MW2, they are probably saving more money letting you keep your skins versus paying for that update to take away everybody's skins and operators in that game file. And not only will you be able to use the MW3 guns and the MW3 multiplayer, you'll also be able to use all the MW2 guns in the MW2 multiplayer. Oh, and did I mention to say MW3, you're going to be playing on the original MW2 maps that were remastered from MW2 2009. And this is all happening on the brand new COD HQ, which is the new hub where you're going to launch all of your Call of Duties. Do you understand what I'm saying here? I hope that started to make a little bit more sense of what I'm saying. And I know a lot of people are going to take this the wrong way and just say, oh, he's hating on MW3. He doesn't like it. I actually do like like it. I had a ton of fun on it. You know, minus skill-based matchmaking, which I will literally never get over for the end of time. I hate skill-based matchmaking. I don't want it in the game, but I know they're not going to get rid of it. That's for a different video, but I really did enjoy MW3. It feels good. The movement. Oh my God, the movement felt great. I'm so happy we have the, the red dots back on the mini map. You know, sniping feels really good. Okay, obviously the spawns need a little bit of work, but we played the beta. It was just the beta. And I'm sure for the official launch, when the game actually does come out, those spawns are going to be fixed and they'll play a little bit more like the OG MW2 map. But I had a ton of fun. I pre-ordered it. I'm going to play the campaign early. And I'm definitely going to grind all the camos because I do that every year. Once again, I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. I love Call of Duty. I've just been seeing a lot of people claiming that, oh my God, MW3 is the savior, the brand new game. But in reality, you're getting tricked a little bit. It's really just MW2. I know you don't want to believe it.